would solve some of your guys' current issues, but what are the issues right now that are separate from Draymond's absence that kind of concern you the most? <coughs> Um, I think really it's just consistency and focus and uh, I say I, like I, uh, IQ and just understanding how certain teams are trying to execute against us and what we can do to, I'm talking all, well, mostly defensively, what we can do to kind of counter that, you know, and we have a lot of different rotations and lineups and uh, we're trying to make adjustments on the fly, but we have to, uh, I think Coach said, like, be more connected, but just be more uh, in sync as a five-man unit, whoever's out there. And you realize how hard it is to win in this league. We say that a lot because we, I feel like guys have been around know what it takes, but Nights nice like tonight where you uh, just don't play a good brand of basketball defensively to give yourself a chance to win on the road against a team that you, you allowed to have life the whole night. Like, you're not going to win a lot of games that way. With, with connectivity or being more connective, I mean, we're talking about issues outside of just Draymond's absence, but how does just having him around this team or maybe not having him around this team affect or impact the connectiveness? Like not even Draymond's, I mean, myself, Andre, Draymond, Clay, you know, we've all been around playoff series, championship runs, so we all know what that feels like with the level that you have to be at every night. So we have another guy that can share that perspective, I'll say. But it's also like, you know, what he brings on the court is another level of confidence. It's also Clay's been out of the lineup, Andre's been out of the lineup, and we've had just a lot of just shuffling going on. It's not an excuse because I have a plan, but it's also like the balance of developing our young guys and understanding the opportunity they have to be able to see that night in, night out, like it worked in the first half of the season. It hasn't been there uh, as consistently. Uh, with our guys out. So, again, not an excuse on how we're playing, but uh, we are built as a full, full team. And until we get that, I don't know if we'll see our, you know, our full ceiling, but we have to do the little things that in the meantime to, you know, keep building and keep building confidence right now at Atlanta. But not with Dream on not just not even being around the team very much because of his injury and rehabbing separately. I mean, how Steve said that he's going to be joining you guys in Dallas. How important is it just to, just to have him in the room with you? It's huge. Like I said, we're all built uh, in terms of like that trust and chemistry and knowing each other and having a guy like him who's very vocal, high IQ. Um, as a certain approach of you know, leadership, like all that stuff, it matters. So that's why uh, I was trying to stay patient in terms of where we are in the season. We're trying to be on top of that. Wiggins hasn't had a 20 point game since January. How much more do you guys need from him on the offensive end? I think I said this the other night. We just need aggressive. I was talking about Jordan. We stay aggressive. It's just like, you know, uh, he's capable, obviously, you know, we kind of score athlete. You know, he is in a way he can get it a lot of different ways. So we obviously need to figure out if that's just sets we're calling to get him in the right position, if that's you know, him being more assertive, demanding the ball certain matchups, stuff like that, certain parts of the game. That's what we expect, and uh, I expect him to respond. All right, let's do two quick on Zoom, Monty Poole and then Cyrus. Go ahead, Monty. Earlier this season, uh, you guys made kind of had some fun with Wiggins and his being assertive and aggressive, and you talked about showing him, you know, video of his work against uh, Cat. You got any new tricks up your bag to try and get Wiggs going again? 
Uh, he's, he's an all-star and he's a turn around, so it's not anything that you need to trick anybody into. It's just it's what we demand of, of everybody. You know, be your best every night and come with that intention. So whatever that means for everybody individually to you know step up and respond to, that's what that's what we ask. Um, Wigs is no different. Right. Last one for Cyrus. Go ahead. Thanks, Raymond. Uh, Steph, a week or so ago in, in an interview, you used the word undersized when describing this team. Um, what is the size of this team's impact on the court, in your opinion? And would you wish that the front office brought in reinforcements given all the injuries? Um, I mean, there are certain matchups that are difficult because you got a guy like Kat, Jokic, I've seen recently, but those like guys that put pressure on you in the paint, you have to come in with physicality. Loon's been doing a great job putting up a fight and being aggressive and, and competing, taking on those matchups, taking it personally. But uh, guys like that, it's not just one guy. Like if you left somebody on an island with the best defender with those that type of talent, they're going to eventually find their way. That's what they're paid to do. So it's everybody has to figure out how to help and pitch in and be on a string. That's kind of that connectedness I was talking about and, or in sync. And I mean, I don't know who else is out there that wanted to come and we said no or whatever the case is. So uh, if you got any intel on that, let me know. Cool. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that.